Well, he's the chief of police. Um, the chief of police of Barnstable yeah. Police Department. Um, my first involvement with the chief, it was about seven years ago when I first applied for the department. I didn't get hired then. And then I met him again when he became chief three years later at an event and we exchanged um i took a picture with him and he was his first picture as a chief so he asked me to send him the picture i guess he didn't get the picture because the email the email went to his spam folder yeah um so long story short a couple of days goes by we become i see him Facebook suggests me as a friend because we now have a mutual friend and I send him a friend request. Right away he accepts my request. I send him a message, thank you for ex Chief, thank you for accepting my friend request. Congratulations again on making it to Chief. It was nice seeing you. I hope you know you make us proud. Did you get my picture? I didn't get the picture. So I sent him the picture and then we started so then it started um, a, a, a respect. Uh, I, you know, I'm like, wow, I'm friends with the chief. You know. Oh, I see. Yeah. So wait, just back up a little bit. When did you first meet him? When was it? What was it like the first time you met him? What year was that? It was 2015. I had applied for um, to become a police officer for the Barnstable Police Department. Okay. And can you just tell us what that that entails? I mean, do you just, uh, how do you apply to be a police officer? So there's a packet, you fill out, you mail it in, and then you go into an orientation. On the orientation, it's for every for the public to find out how, how the hiring process goes. Barnstable, you have to go through the civil service exam, which okay. is given was given every two years. Now it's every year, right? Okay. So I had taken the civil service to exam. Bring your application. Mm -hmm. Then they were gonna check all your, and then if everything checks off, it looks okay. You go in and you meet with the lieutenant in charge of the hiring process, which then was Lieutenant Sonovan, Matthew Sonovan. He was the lieutenant? He then. was the lieutenant in charge of the hiring process in 2015. Okay. Okay. Pressure that you get. Now you made it to the psychological I made it, the first time? I made it to the oral boards. The oral boards. The yeah. oral boards is, is the final. Okay. Which means that it's you know, it's it, it's then, a process because there are many just candidates. To, just to summarize, like what? How'd that work out? What happened? So I don't know what happened because then I get a letter from then Chief McDonald that I wasn't a good fit. That better candidates had been chosen for the position. Right. So tell me what happened. So um, you know the there's food. There's everyone's like. I'm like, oh my gosh, how's, congratulations on making it to chief. This yeah. is the first time that I see him as a chief, and the first time after three years. How's his life? He goes, oh, who knew there would be so many meetings, and blah, blah, blah. And he was like, oh, so, and he goes, how about you? What are you doing? So I just moved, I had just moved to Dennis. Just uh, moved, yeah. like that week or two weeks ago, like, you know. I just moved to Dennis, but I'm working for Yarmouth Police. And he goes, oh, good for you. I, yeah. he, he kind of seemed like surprised. I'm like, you know, I'm a police matron and yeah. I'm an interpreter because, and then I, it wasn't until a year later that I started training for dispatch, but that didn't work out, but anyway. Yeah, okay. Um, so, so you, this is 2018. This is now 2018. And so you guys are talking. He's just, just became just, chief. Just friendly, just like friends. Just very friends. And then he, we clicked in the mind. You okay. know, we, because of a leadership. Yeah. Here I see someone that I, re, who's in a, a leadership position of the town that I grew up in, grew up like from, the, this is my home. Yeah. Let's put it this way. He's the leader of my home. Yeah. And, and I'm friends a, with him. You guys clicked. 
we clicked, right? Because the leadership of the background, and I, so I'm like, okay, nice. I'm, I'm, I can't believe I'm friends with him. Like, um, this is so right. cool, you know. Like, I have a cool friend, was and we he clicked. Is, was he dressed Very up as a chief? friendly. Oh, dressed dressed up as a chief. Yeah. Yes, dressed okay. up as a chief. At the event, and then. He had like we uh, started stars on his shoulders. Stars on his shoulders. It yeah. said Chief Son Oh, it did. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So we start. We started uh, texting, messaging. I you see. know, and he he said he tells me, you know, you are the only person who I've met now that understands me for who I am. I don't judge people, okay? I, I see. see people for who you are. So you guys are clicking. We're clicking. And, and then... what do you think is going to happen And here? then I'm thinking I am helping someone who's human. I'm, I, I have Your a friend. Yeah, I have okay. a friend. I'm a loner, okay? Mind yeah. you, I'm the person who's always in the corner observing, taking notes, mentally notes. Oh my God, I'm friends with the chief of police, the department that I was rejected once, but now I have an opportunity to become friends. Man, maybe this is what I was meant to do, work because I've always worked backstage. So I'm thinking, this is so cool. I get to help backstage, me help mentally or guide in a way because of my gifts also. And you wanna tell be them, friends. I want to yeah. be friends. And like, listen, this, this happens in the town. An informant in a way, okay? Let's put it that way. Yeah. So, hey, let's meet. Let's let's say hi. Do you want to yeah. say hi? Yeah. Sure. Bamboo on Main Street. I mean, on, at the rotary there. The, the airport rotary. The airport rotary, the bamboo, we meet. He parks his car. He backs in his car. I back, you know, so that where both the windows are facing. Yeah. We talked, cool, nice to meet you, blah, blah, blah. But I, from there, I think was the second time that I could really look into his eyes and I saw that he had a wandering eye. Yeah. Now, did you... I noticed there was something off. When you say wandering eye, what do you mean? He, in a sexual way. He's, I, I noticed that he looked at me not as a friend, but he looked at me in a lustful so way. So you felt like you I felt, some felt vibes. lustful way. No. And I'm a woman, okay? Right. I'm not going to lie. No. I've, I'm a woman. I, I, I gave that lust back. Okay, yeah, so because now old. I'm now now we're connected here, yeah. and because I don't judge people by appearance, you know, if I connect here, if you click, yeah. eventually every you're gonna be attracted to that person because now you're vibing that same energy, correct? Gotcha. All right. So that's what's happening. So it's it's consensual. But yes, he is in uniform. So at the same time that I'm thinking, yes, it's consensual. I'm giving it to this energy. He's in uniform.